in this video we will unbox and put together the infrared sauna, show you what it looks like when it is finished, how to use it, and what we think about it. It's so helpful being super buff. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. This way, because I can't. Gotta pull all this tape off before I start putting stuff in place. You do want to keep the tape in place till you place it where you want it. PMW four. 16. Here's a PMW 440. Oh, is this my PMW 416? Two screws. In the directions on attaching the heaters, it says attach two heaters to the rear panel using the TM440 screws. I went through the box and there are no TM440 screws. There are PWM440 screws, but at least this says screws for fixed heaters. So I'm assuming these screws will work on the heaters, even though they are a PWM 440, and this thing says to use TM 440s. So, this is all we got, so we're going with it. Uh-oh. Okay, one thing we just noticed, we're getting to the part 
where we are getting ready to hang the heaters on the sidewalls. And if you notice here on this side panel where the cord from the heater drops through the wall, it's supposed to be the back, which means these panels need to flip around. So I gotta take those apart and flip them. So we just switched the left and right panel. Again, when you do this, you wanna make sure you've got your cord hole along the back. That's, I don't know how else you can tell what side is which until you get into the package and run into what we ran into. So this will save you a minute. But honestly, it was really easy to switch them out. So on this heater, there's an inlet to run the cord to where it comes out the side. So you have to feed it that way and then pull it through. I'll drop it seven times before I make it better. Okay, now it says to slide the bench support panel into the slots. KA316 for seat board. Might want pliers for this. Jeez. Oh, Supports. I'm not seeing any pre drilled holes. There is a small place to start a screw. Second groove in. Looks like it'll fit, so I'm just going to get started. For the bench support brackets, they have a small pinhole to get your screw started. And this wood's harder than you'd think. And I don't have drill bits, so I'm going to recommend that once you get your spot lined up that you drill a pilot hole to get these screws to go in because they're going to strip out pretty easy. So I'm just going to have to set that aside for now, do it at another time. According to the directions, you need to be able to drop the top panel on and place screws around it. So I need to slide this out to where I can get full access around. So I'm going to move the panel away from the wall again. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to figure out why the roof won't go on. I can see a little chunk of wood in the corner. That's not lined up right. What happened to it? Did it get damaged? Yep. Probably got damaged during shipping. Right back. 
talking. There we go. It's kind of gappy. Gonna look at the directions. Here we got air vents that need to be at the front of the door. Okay. This top, this roof mount has plenty of gap around it. So I'm gonna try to even it all out to square it off. The directions don't say to remove these, but if you don't, you can't open the door. So I'm sure assuming these are just little supports to keep the door on. Okay, it says to install the door handle, short screw in the bottom. Okay, long one on top. I have a feeling there was supposed to be a wood knob down here, but if there was, it broke off or something. Obviously, you're dealing with glass, don't over tighten. Be nice to have a little gasket or something for this bottom screw. It's not going to tighten it too much. That'll work. way too loose so this just fell right off so obviously needs to be tighter just smash it down a little bit guess I did it too much So really, I'm kind of impressed. It, was, it wasn't that hard to put together. If I did it again, it'd be easy. It seems pretty secure. I got the door handle on. I did have to take my pliers and crimp that down a little better so it'll stick to the glass on both sides. Um, yeah, not too shabby. It says after you put the door on, put the handle on, you got your magnets. It says sauna's ready to use. Go to your instruction manuals instruction manual and start going through the operation to give it a try. So that's what I'm going to do. Sure display will show the set temperature plus up or down button to increase or de decrease. Okay, that looks good. Step three is time. Measurements can also be changed by pressing the up or down buttons to increase or decrease the max. That looks good to me. When the temperature in the cabin reaches your set temperature, the heat light will turn off. This must be our heat light. Okay, the buzzer will beep when the time counts down to zero. After your sauna session, please have the sauna door open to allow fresh air in the sauna. Bada bing, that was tough. Yep, I can feel heat coming off. Heat there, heat there, heat there. Okay, let's get naked and sit in here. <laughs> I am so ready for this. Bluetooth. Is connected got some good Christian music playing in the sauna got a nice frosty beverage temperature is not quite up to where I want it but I'm going in anyway because I can't wait oh it's
That was amazing. That was my first time after we installed this sauna. I just sat in there for 56 minutes. It heats up super fast. Sweat just rolling down. I am so impressed right now. I think this is the, this is called the JNH two person sauna. Very impressed. JNH lifestyles. Um, the heaters kick out heat so fast. It warms up wonderfully. You get a great sweat. The Bluetooth is really cool. Sitting there listening to Pandora, just enjoying every minute, having a glass of bubbly. It was so worth it. I'm so excited to have this in our room. So thank you guys. Good product. There's so many health benefits to having and using an infrared sauna. It helps release the built up toxins in your body, reduces stress and fatigue, muscle aches and arthritis and joint pain. It increases your metabolism, which also helps with weight loss. Having an infrared sauna has been a great addition to our lives. Surprisingly, it wasn't that expensive. It was easy to put together and we wish we would have bought one a long time ago. If you're interested in looking into it, I have put a link in the description below. If you have any questions about anything, please comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel for more great videos and hit the bell. Thanks for watching.